Hello there everyone, here is another fast-paced tutorial on PHP form validations. Let's jump right in. We have a form here with common form fields like email, name, checkboxes, radio groups, and a drop-down list. First, let's see how the form data looks like. This will help in coding the validations. This is the PHP script that receives the form submissions. The checkbox group comes as an array of the selections. The rest of the fields, like radio group, drop-down list, name, and email, come as simple name-value pairs. If the single checkbox for the terms and conditions is selected, it appears here. If agree is not selected, that variable itself does not appear. First, let us check whether the name field is empty. We trim the field and remove any spaces. Then we check whether the name is empty. Let us try it now. It shows the error when name is empty. However, you might have noticed one flaw here. We have to press the back button and then correct the form again. This is not user-friendly. Let us embed this HTML form in a PHP script. This script is called in two cases, first time to display the form, then, once again, when the form is submitted. We have to validate only after the form is submitted. For that, just look for the Submit button variable. Having the Action attribute, like this, submits the form to this script itself. If the validation fails, we will display the error message next to the field. We should refill the form. It will be very bad if the user has to fill in the form again. For radio group, we have to check whether the value of the field is empty. To avoid losing the selection, we have to set the checked attribute of the radio group item.
Now we have to validate the drop-down list. We have set the default value as empty, so we will check whether the value is empty. Again, we have to set the selected attribute. In the case of checkbox group, the field will be an array. If you want to check minimum number of checkboxes, just check the array count. Now, let us set the checked attributes. The single checkbox is not much different. Check for empty value. If all the validations succeeded, then we can proceed with the rest of the form processing. So it takes a bit of code to do the form validations. An easier alternative is to use a PHP form validation library. This link contains PHP form validation library that you can use to quickly add form validations. Thanks for watching. Press the subscribe button to get more awesome tutorials.